Hi there, everyone. It is Cesare Maria Borgia. My legal name is Marie Aura de Villiers Shale. And um, I have been making a biblical nuisance and pest of myself for quite some time because I have been absolutely astonished that no one got the memo. And it would appear that nobody did indeed get the memo because we had a situation where on Sunday, I'll caution you to go and look at uh, perhaps the Duran, D-U-R-A-N, Duran um, on YouTube, Alex Christoforo, um, who else? Alexander Mercuris, um, anybody who knows anything about uh, really logistics and ask what was sent over the weekend to the border with uh, this man over here. And then we're going to look at what he says and we are going to think to ourselves why I maintain me, Marie Aura, why I maintain that this is your moral duty to say no to this uh, cataclysmic escalation as a human being, um, as, a, 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 as a sentient being, as somebody who has a, a, a basic uh, shred of human dignity and integrity. I do not understand why you are all not uh, saying no to this event. However, I have a lot of excuses. And one of the biggest excuses is, oh, it's secret, it's classified. No, it isn't. I didn't get this information in any classified forum. Don't talk nonsense. <laughs> Number two, uh, the excuse is what I call caching the woes. For us, <laughs> we've got the American man's burden. We have to go and give our stuff to everyone in the world and they want all our stuff and everyone is so mean to us and plus the elites hate us okay well there are no elites the the the, the power differential which is in charge is is you it is the american public and in eight months of diligent and relentless uh, research i have found not one person willing to say no to world war three nor have I found one person willing to say no to an escalation to nuclear levels. In fact, they, they run, they hide, they pretend that it's deeply classified and they are very special. They are not. Uh, it, it, it's special in the sense of a hive mind, yes, but it is not special in any other sense. Uh, it is not classified. It is open information. I've always had it at hand. They refuse to look at it because they say it is beyond them. And also they are so sorry for themselves that they have to support the entire world. We're just going to, you know, shrug our shoulders. But there, there, there are reasons why I say the things I do. And this is the prime reason, is that we have a Mr. Putin, who is um, the head of state of Russia, which is quite a considerably large uh, country. If you look on the map, it's, it's quite big. And he said this six years ago. So this was long before any current conflict. And therefore, there are no sides in this. I am simply taking the side of humanity and not of demons. So you can see that I shared, there was a memory that I shared from five years ago. Okay, so that's how long I have been watching out for this. I, I have some investment and I have some concern as a human being. So five, yes, five years ago, this is what Mr. Putin said. Yeah, I mean, it's just nothing is that there is just a, 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 a catastrophic level of, of stupidity and ignorance over here, and a lot of it's willful negligence. We are on the eve of destruction, we really are. I know this from various sources and just my own common sense. What what was sent, what hardware was sent over there over the weekend that was publicly disclosed? Go and ask yourself that question. And now let us watch our the head of state five years ago. Let's transcend time, space barriers, and let's go and have a look in into travel back in time. What's he saying? He's talking to he, he is talking to a group of journalists and he's asking them, he is chiding them why they lie to the people. And he is saying that they, there's always this Iranian threat, Iranian threat is used to justify this nuclear system. Mm -hmm. Perfectly clear to me. Once again, they lied to us. As journalists should know. Long range missile system. 
he didn't stutter. This is not classified. This is a statement made in public, one that I shared five years ago. Continue to listen, engage both those neurons and fire them, you know, extra hard because this, this next bit's going to be tough. Yeah. Пусков, ракет, Long range missile system, I see. Морского базирования. Туда закладывайте сейчас антиракеты, способные поражать цели на расстоянии 500 километров. Но мы знаем, технологии развиваются. Мы примерно знаем, что в каком году примерно американцы получат новую ракету, которая будет уже не 500 километров, а 1000, а потом больше. И с этого момента они начнут угрожать нашему ядерному потенциалу. Мы, мы по годам знаем, что будет происходить. Know, И я знаю, year. что мы знаем. Мы знаем, что мы знаем. Это было 5 лет назад. 5 лет назад, да. So let's continue. They tell tall tales, and you buy it and spread it to the citizens of your countries. Your people, in turn, do not. Do you not? You feel no sign. We don't know how to get through to you anymore. Look at him, he's red in the face. He's upset. He looks like me. While they pretend nothing is going on. What what are you thinking? It doesn't. There is no Iranian threat. And look at the map. No, it's the Russian threat. There's always a threat. There's always an excuse. They lie to us. He says it. Use the word lies. Being loaded with what? Long range missile system. Которые используются для пусков ракет средней дальности Томагавк морского базирования. Туда закладывают сейчас антиракеты, способные поражать цели на расстоянии 500 километров. Но мы знаем, технологии развиваются. Мы примерно знаем, в каком году примерно американцы получат новую ракету. Five years ago, a thousand kilometers further. Nuclear potential. We know we have a year what's going to happen, and they know that we know. We all know. It's only that you tell tall tales and you buy it. Spread it to the citizens of your countries. All people in turn do not feel a sense of impending danger. Look, he's red in the face. He looks upset. Do you feel no sense of impending danger? No, no, ignorance is bliss for the stupid. Do you not feel like the world is being pulled in an irreversible direction? Not at all. No, you think I'm doing this for my health, uh, which is atrocious. Thank you. Send help. I need to see a doctor. I can't feel the tips of my fingers. So um, how do you not understand that the world is being pulled in an irreversible direction? They don't understand it all and they don't care. I've, I've actually got proof of it. I, I wrote them all letters in my geopolitics. Route. No, they refuse to take a stand against this. So the rest of the world, we're going to have to take a very fervent stand because we can see that this gentleman is very clear on how it is and how it will be. So let us continue. World's being pulled in an irreversible direction because of the long range missiles. I don't know how to get through to you anymore. Okay. So so we can see from, from this situation that uh, I have actually been following this uh, correctly from the beginning. I have been working off top intelligence levels, which is what a head of state actually says. And I know this is hard to believe in the West. But it does happen that heads of state actually do say things and mean them the way they are. So it is not classified. It is your moral duty. It is your human duty. You are derelict in your duty to humanity, to the cosmos, ancient and vast from which we came, to yourselves and to your children. If you continue to stay silent and therefore silence is consent, you are a collaborator to the most egregious crimes against humanity. And I am issuing a call now for the world to take a stand and say no, no to war and no to nuclear weapons. Das kann nicht sein. This cannot be. We are not going to give up our planet to the hubris and folly of a few 
pampered, vain, idle, narcissistic, lazy, greedy, entitled nobodies who know nothing while they declare to you that they know everything. This is not possible. Let us watch it one more time. The Iranian threat. This was, this was the old news because there's always some threat. They're always saving the world. They're not being genuine and open with us. They lie. They always lie. Their people lie. Mm -hmm. Missiles, right now, as we speak. Что ракеты эти закладываются в капсулу, Long -range которые используются mm -hmm. для пусков mm -hmm. ракет I see. средней дальности Томагавк морского базирования. I I from state and ракеты. Not like Miles Imperial Metric. Don't, don't get confused like that. Not an o ring mistake. They will accomplish, even if they don't know the real O ring from the not O ring, a thousand kilometers. Can you understand the threat that this man is under? They tell tall tales, and you buy it and spread it. This is, he's addressing the media. This is open. The people, in turn, do not feel a sense of the impending danger. The world is being pulled in an irreversible direction. They pretend that nothing is going on. I don't know how to get through to you anymore. The man is red in the face, and I'm not surprised. He can't get through to you. I can't get through to you. No one can get through to you. You are determined to throw the world away if you are from the West. You are determined to throw the world away and, and destroy this planet and your children and everything else. And you do it saying that you do know the threat. You are fully cognizant of the threat. It is informed consent to absolute devastation and extinction and i think this is absolutely appalling brothers and sisters of this world in my one world family i call on you now to unite and to know for absolutely certain that there is no uh, ultimate game plan it is just a, a hubris uh, a, a small spiteful malicious greedy child toddler playing and its parents refuse to take any responsibility. So we will have to say no to the toddler as firmly as we must. And then we are going to have to talk to all of our citizens in our One World family about how to behave as a member of the One World family, as an adult, as a responsible adult. How do you take responsibility for the things that happen in the world and not pretend that you are a helpless poor victim who cannot say and do anything or find out inf any information and you're hostage to nameless elites or Jewish people or some tribe or race or awful Africans we have sent aid to. No, no, you do not send aid here. You only... Um, remove borrow forever our resources in africa thank you as a daughter of africa i'm speaking you borrow our resources forever you would not have your phone you would not have your your, your technology or anything if it weren't for child labor on this continent and so yes we do rather have a say uh that is not you do not just send money for food or anything else goodness knows the last thing on earth you do is uh, send any of that kind of help um you have uh, no respect for the ten commandments you have no respect for god and you have no respect for this planet and i'm telling you now that if this goes uh badly there are going to be terrible frightful consequences not only for the rest of us but also for you um the, the empire of lies is now terminated forever um uh, how 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 nicely we want to uh, be able to pull through with everybody intact with a, a future for everyone including the children of the west the ch american children also have a right they have a birth right to this world uh, intact and not thrown away squandered broken and destroyed by the narcissism and hubris of their parents and uh, so i ask us all to join together out of respect to humanity and the creator and the cosmos ancient and vast from which we are born 
and stand ready to protect this planet from all evil. Our brothers and my sisters, say no.